Hello my friends, I am here at the Magic Kingdom. This is just a quick little video that I am making because park hopping is officially back. It has been back since the 1st of January and I just want to go over something. officially back it has been back since January 1st however there are some differences one you do need a park hopping pass like a, pa uh, a pass an annual pass that has park hopper or a single day or multi-day ticket that has park hopper the second thing is that park hopping is only after 2 p.m. so after 2 p.m. it is right now 1 50 so in about 10 minutes I can park hop over to another park which that is what I'm planning on doing to show you guys how it really the process is however you do have to make a park reservation but you only have to make a park reservation for the first park that you're going to go to like today I made a park reservation for Magic Kingdom so I had to come to Magic Kingdom first and then I can park hop to any other park you do not need a park reservation to park hop to any of the other parks as long as it's after 2 p.m. the monorail from Magic Kingdom tick the time protection ticket center to Epcot is currently not working so you cannot take the monorail you can take the buses the bus will let you know if the uh, parks that you would like to go to is at capacity there is also a phone number which I'll put right here on the screen that you can call to see if the parks are at capacity or anything like that if that park is at capacity and it's not the park that you originally went to you cannot enter but I, I am done with Magic Kingdom I did some videos at Magic Kingdom which I'll link down below in case you want to see them but right now I am park hopping over to Epcot I personally am gonna take my own car because I have to charge some things but personally um, you can also take the bus one thing that I have to say is that make sure that you pick a park for your park reservation park make sure you pick a park that you don't mind getting stuck at in case for some instance the other three parts are at capacity and you can't go to any of them um just pick a park that you know that eh, it's not gonna bother you if you can't park up to another park it's a magic kingdom i rode the ferry but now i'm taking the monorail because there is an update that i want to see it's now 201 and as you can see the monorail going from the ticket and transportation center to epcot it's no not in service so it is officially time to be able to park up because it's 201 already but it has not uh, open back up. If you don't have a car and would like to take a bus, or if you do have a car but you just rather use the bus, the bus parking is that way. And like I mentioned earlier, they will scan your pass to make sure that you have park hopping availability and it will tell you what parks you can go to, what parks are at capacity or anything like that. Let's say that you are at Epcot and you want to go to Hollywood Studios or you're at Hollywood Studios and you want to go to Epcot, you can take the Skyliner. That's another way of transportation um, from Epcot to Hollywood Studios or from Hollywood Studios to Epcot. We actually did it last week when I came with my kids. It was so much fun. Went to Hollywood Studios and then after rise, we rode the Skyliner over to Epcot. The boats that usually go from Epcot to Hollywood Studios and vice versa are also available. Um, but from any other park, like if you want, if you're at Hollywood Studios and you want to go to Magnet Kingdom, it's either your own car or a bus. Supposedly they made an update to the monorail they did. So in case you come to the Magic Kingdom, I personally am gonna try to do the ferries from now on. Um, so the monorails, they sectioned them off into four sections. So they they can put like four families within, or however many people fit in each section, they can put them in each section like that. All right, everybody, and we have made it. We are here at the Epcot parking lot, and we just got a park which it looks like ooh, it's gonna be pretty close I like uh, if you're coming by car one thing they do ask when um you're parking is if you have a reservation because if it, i'm guessing i'm guessing if you don't have a reservation they have to check your ticket and make sure that you have a park hopper um ticket so they asked me i told them no and then they check my ticket it's like oh perfect so I'm guessing that's what they check, but I'm not 100% certain. So yeah, let's get out. Let's go to Epcot. Well guys, we made it. We're inside Epcot. We park hopped. 
that was amazing. I have hard part top four. I just wanted to make sure that everything was good before making a video about it, but I did hard top. Um, last week, actually, we came to Epcot after riding Rise of the Resistance at Hollywood Studios. That's basically all you have to know about park hop. It is back for it is back, but just there are some rules around it. You can park hop to multiple parks as long as it's after 2 p.m. So in case you want to do a four park one day challenge, or you're here for one day and you want to do all four parks in one day, you can do that. Um, what I suggest if you're doing that is do the one that has the uh, that closest the earliest first, and then the one that closes the latest last, so you have more time to go to that one as well. All right, but that's going to be the premiere from Epcot. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Disney videos. So make sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Kingdom Ears Vlog. And until next time, have a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks.